With a 15 and 50 record this year, the Golden State Warriors were simply the worst team in basketball. This was due to the fact that Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson struggled with injuries all year and because Kevin Durant left last offseason. Yeah, they had a bad season, but one good thing did come out of it. At the trade deadline, they shipped D'Angelo Russell to the Timberwolves for Andrew Wiggins and a 2021 first round pick. There are three main reasons why I think the Warriors won this trade. One, because D'Angelo Russell honestly wasn't a good fit for them. Two. Andrew Wiggins, if they choose to, is very good trade bait. And three, the first round pick they can either trade away or they can use for themselves. But to get to today's topic, I'd like to bring up the Warriors' chances to land Giannis Antetokounmpo either by trade this year or landing him in free agency next year. But before we get into the video, I'd like to bring something up. Only a small percent of people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy this content and want to see more like it, make sure to hit the sub button and leave a like. First things first, I'd like to bring up this. If the Bucks do end up winning a championship this year, Giannis is likely to stay with them. But Giannis has already made it clear. If the Bucks can't win a championship, he's likely leaving. And I think the Warriors have a huge chance to land him. I'd like to bring up two ways that the Warriors can acquire Giannis Antetokounmpo. The first way is by trade. And I think a fair asking price for Giannis is to send Andrew Wiggins, Klay Thompson, and two first round picks. And also, Giannis isn't going to be cheap. He is the Greek freak after all. But if the Warriors and Giannis could land a deal, this would be huge for them. Now that I've talked about the ways that they can obtain Giannis, let's talk about what he would truly do for this team. If they end up signing Giannis in free agency, their lineup could be Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. That would easily be one of the best lineups we've seen of all time. But even if Klay Thompson has to go, this team would still be crazy. I really do think it's in the best interest for the Warriors to highly pursue Giannis. He's a generational talent after all. This could easily bring them back to where they were two years ago, and it would continue the Warriors dynasty. Let me know in the comments who you think Giannis will be playing for in a couple years. And once again, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe, as we are on the road to 300 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.